That's what we call it. Comes in a bunch of colors. It's the men's shirt, unisex shirt, and it's super soft. Uh, I think we're now going to have to call it the uh, Jimmy Buffett tee since uh, he sported this on uh, Instagram and Facebook. The sales have gone wild. Thank you, Jimmy. So we're just setting up for our. A little photo shoot for the boat for our website. I'm not setting it up. I can't believe we started to do this without any drinks. I don't know what got into us. But all right, you're gonna see this image pretty soon on our website, LazyDog.com. This is so beautiful out here. I think it deserves a 360. Oh yeah. Gotta love where you live, folks. Here comes the drone. Back from a little photo shoot. We're putting on a race today. Um, we put on about uh, I think it's four races each year. Jack, stay there, bud. And uh, I'm just uh, usually get here a little earlier than the crew. 6:30. I tell everyone get here at seven. That way I have about a half hour just to <clears throat> get myself together and get things organized. <clears throat> but we just got a few things we got to bring over to Jack. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, I got my main peeps here, uh, Holly and Tyler. They're just getting the shack ready. Oh, and of course, Jax. Yeah. Anyway, I unloaded the car, and now I am going to move the car, because rule 126 of the Lazy Dog Way manual is uh, don't park where your customers can park. So, I'm going to move my car to the other side of the parking lot. Come on, Jax. All right. My diehards, I love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, no one ever, no one thought once about, or uh, twice about, or uh, dropping. <laughs> Maybe once, maybe twice. Okay. So, um, thanks, you guys. Um, this is, I think, our fourth year. So, um, every year we've had different conditions. So, this is the first time we've actually had to change the race course because of weather. So, uh, what we're going to do today is a little bit different. Um, it's going to be blowing, it's 
supposed to be in about an hour it's really supposed to be blowing even harder than it is now so for safety sake and fun which we always like to make sure we have those covered um, you're gonna start as you usually do right here in the in the um, marina you'll head straight out you're gonna be following um, Meg Meg's gonna be on a jet ski here and the reason being is it's really shallow this morning so you can't cut the corner you can't come out and cut the corner straight up to go to Riviera Canal and you can't cut to get down the canal either so you're actually gonna have to stay in the boat channel so the lead uh, racers if you just follow Meg she's gonna take you on the, where you and everyone else can just sort of follow in line once you get to the Riviera Canal which is a half a mile from here you're good to go you can all spread out and go from there you're gonna go down the Riviera Canal just like we usually do you're gonna come out and there's a bridge right by Sunset Water Sports before you you would come out to go all the way around Sigsby you're just going to go around the bridge and come back, which is actually US-1, around the bridge and come back, and now you're coming back up and doing the course in reverse. So what do you mean by around the bridge? It's like a middle span? You there's go, a, there's, yep, do, yeah. Do yep, one hole and back the other? Exactly, yep. yep. Okay. And you'll see all the jet skis right there, Sunset Water Sports is right there on the right. Meg Reese just texted me and she says they're in the Riviera moving quickly. I said okay. She says also my water is too cold to drink. Now I'm eating a bagel. I can't wait to play see, by what, play. see what's next. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> That's our uh, race um, safety yeah. boat. I think, I think she might have been over <laughs> to come on through. Um, I, I only started uh, really putting on the races about uh, five years ago. This one, four years ago. But um, I, I just love the energy 
of organizing a race uh, it kind of reminds me of sort of that startup craziness um, when you're starting a business just sort of like a real energy um, kind of that that I I think I desire so I really love the organized organized chaos of um, of races and also like uh, you know young businesses and and when your business is really busy <laughs> but um, I, I like the opportunity also to create an opportunity for people to have an experience that they might not ordinarily have by putting on an event um, and then just to see people to see them really push themselves to do something that they may not think that they uh, could do and, and then to be able to do it it's pretty pretty incredible I, I feel um, it's been a, sort of a privilege really to to be able to put these opportunities together for people and not not every job can really allow you to do something like that that can impact somebody in a positive way and, um, and empower them and uh, I feel absolutely so blessed to be able to to do that so uh, I really really love the races for that I'm, I'm all about participation um, and uh, ooh, there's a first place guy coming in all about participation and uh, making it fun for everyone so um, the uh, that, that's what it's about. If the uh, if it leads to more fun, the answer is yes. So, uh, as you can see, coming in we, behind me, we have the first place uh, racer, and uh, we're gonna get going from here. He's actually, it's, uh, I think he's also the youngest. This is the first place finisher coming in behind me. I think he's also the youngest one in our race. <laughs> So this is one of my favorite parts after the race where everyone is just mingling, having fun. Yeah, we'll grab some ice. I don't know, yeah, black. Pretty have cool. 45 minutes. Telling the stories, making memories. My favorite. What life's all about. Oh, yeah. Well, sorry, Jack.